Good morning, everybody. It's day one of my Christmas 12 days, 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. I'm hoping I'm in the right place this morning. Suddenly I was panicking, thinking, did I go over to my group? Okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, good, let's see. Hopefully you guys will find me. This is not my normal time. Um, I'm gonna be doing 10 a.m. all this week, except for Thursday, of course, that's Thanksgiving Day. But I'm gonna do 10 a.m. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Good morning, Gina, it's good to see you. All right, so I know maybe those of you on the West Coast, it's a little bit early. I decided 10 a.m. this week because my kids are home all week, and I knew that we would probably be going and doing stuff maybe in the afternoon. Um, and then I was also hoping I could get it done before they were awake but one of them's already awake. You know, she's usually the late sleeper too. I'm not sure why she's already awake. Okay, so also I'm seeing someone pull up in the front, so the dogs are gonna go crazy here in a second. Let me warn my daughter. Hey, Addie, Addie, somebody's here, so hold on to the dogs, okay, please? <laughs> it's gonna be chaos all morning. Addie. Come get Max, please, before he starts barking. <laughs> ah, Thanksgiving break. Okay, so let's get started. Um, here is the schedule for this week. I've actually already changed it. Um, on Friday, no, Saturday, I had um, Most Wonderful Time bundle planned, and I went to make the project, and apparently I don't have that bundle. I swear I have it, or I ordered it, but I don't know what happened to it. I may have given it away as a prize. I don't know. So anyway, I don't have it. So I changed it to. Oh, please. It's, it's the FedEx guy. I wonder what treasures he's bringing me. It's probably my HelloFresh box. I get HelloFresh on Monday mornings. And that's actually the second delivery this morning already, you guys. That's pretty early. All right. Anyhow, thanks, Addie. <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, I changed Saturday. We're going to do rustic retreat. Rustic retreat is one of those stamp sets in the annual catalog, um, that has some Christmas things in it, but not all Christmas. Um, so I am working on the second project this morning for that. So I have all of this week planned. Um, and tomorrow we'll do gnome for the holiday. Gnome for the holidays, a little gnome set. That set's cute. We're going to do that set for two days. So I hope you'll join me. And <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Yeah, cute dogs. They're cute when they're not barking. Um, one thing I want you to know is if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, there's a link to um, enter for the prize. I'm going to have a new link every day. Every day you go enter and there'll be a new prize every day. So today, um, Addie, why don't you put them in, the, um, in their kennel in the laundry room? Why don't you put them in the laundry room so they don't bark, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, so today the prize is a bundle. Cherish the season. We did this Facebook Friday a few weeks ago. This is the one with the bells. So go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. You have until this time tomorrow to enter. There's a link, hopefully it's working, um, that says click here to enter. Okay, so that's there. Um, and that will be the prize I draw for tomorrow. Every day will be a new link. It'll be 24 hours. Yeah, Tina, bark, 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 I know. I know. I thought it was being so good and quiet. I was so prepared. It's chaos. This week is going to be chaos. Okay, I'm going to switch you guys around, all right? Um, I want to show you a few things. Hopefully, you guys have subscribed to my email list. I sent out an email yesterday. Funny story. I try to send an email every week or so. And when I went to send an email yesterday, I realized it had been almost a month since I've sent you guys an email. I don't think I've ever gone that long without sending an email. So, whoa, that was crazy. But it was because I was deep in retreat prep. Now that that's all gone, I can get back on my normal schedule. Um, okay, let me move this. So 12 days of Christmas live. It's not going to be 12 days in a row. Obviously, I'm taking Thanksgiving Day off. I'm taking Sunday off. The next week, we're going out of town for my daughter's birthday. So you'll have to make sure to check the schedule, okay? And I've kind of loosely planned what we're going to do, kind of like my little teacher lesson plan. And I hope you guys will join me each day, okay? And I've got um, one or two, mostly two projects for each day, I think. As we get down to the end, it may just be one. Um, I want to let you know tomorrow is Stampin' Up's one and only Black Friday-ish sale. It's a one-day sale, okay? 
And it's basically everything in this catalog is 10% off with some exceptions. There's a list of about, I don't know, maybe 20 things that are, are not included. And the um, cut and emboss machine is not included. Adhes there's some adhesives that are not included. There's a few random things in there. But one thing I want to point out to you is that the bundles will be 10% off. And let's see if I can find a bundle in here. Bundles are already 10% off, right? So like the Forever Fern. If you buy the dies and the stamps, you save 10%. Well, tomorrow you'll save an additional 10%. So you're actually saving 20% um, on the stamps and the dies. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, also, you might want to use the 10% to stock up on things that you need, like cardstock, um, ink, those kinds of things, paper, any of those consumable things. Um, one way I'm looking at it is that it's kind of like free shipping because when you put in an order, it's $6.95 shipping until you hit $70. And then at $70, it turns into 10%. Your shipping cost is 10% of your order. So it's kind of like free shipping. If your order is $70 or more, basically that 10% is subtracting um, what you would pay for, for shipping, okay? So that is a pretty good deal. The other thing I wanna mention, a really good way to take part in this sale would be to buy the starter kit today, then tomorrow put in an order using your demo discount, which is 20%, and then you get that 10% on top of your demo discount. The, uh, the other option on that is if you wanted to buy the starter kit tomorrow, you would get the sale prices within your starter kit. So for $99, you get $125 in product and everything, if you add in annual catalog products that are on sale, you'll get the sale price within your starter kit. So some other, some other ways to kind of take advantage of this sale. Now I told you guys I would sweeten the deal, okay? I always like to sweeten the deal and this is only for one day, and you have to use the host code to take part in this, okay? Um, if you spend $50, I'm gonna give you a pack of these snowflake rhinestone, or uh, adhesive back snowflakes. If you spend $75, I'm gonna add in a pack of red rhinestones. This is all I have. <laughs> I'll have to show you the red rhinestones. I love these, I use them up. So $75 will get you these two. I thought these were really good Christmas embellishments that you might need. Um, if you spend $100, I'm gonna throw in my favorite dimensionals as well. If you get up to $125, I'm gonna give you the host set. I've got a bunch of these, and so I'll give you this for free as well. And it's cumulative, so if you spend $125, you'll get all four of those things. These will come from me. They will not come in your order. I will close down that order on Wednesday morning, and I will order all of this for everybody. So it will take um, some time for you to get them, okay? Um, I will expedite the shipping, get it here by the end of the week, and then get it out to you. Um, if you get your order up to, that should say $150. That is a typo, isn't it? Yee! Did I put that 125 everywhere? That should be 150. Let's fix that. That's 150. If you hit $150, I'm going to send you a pack of handmade cards. You guys, I have a ton of handmade cards. They include the envelopes, okay? And I think there's actually um, 10 cards in here. My assistant Denise packed these up for me. 10 cards. Um, if you hit 150, let's scratch that out. I need to fix that on all my, on all my graphics. 50. Um, but here's the thing. You have to use the host code. This is all for tomorrow. I know I'm jumping the gun. I just want to make sure you know. Um, you have to use the host code. Um, okay, there's no exceptions. Now, if you get to $150, Stampin' Up! is going to give you your own Stampin' Rewards. $15 worth of Stampin' Rewards. If you use the host code, you don't get that. So you're gonna have to choose what you want. $15 in Stampin' Rewards where you choose what you want or don't use the host code and I'm gonna send you all of this, okay? You decide, you can't, you don't get both, okay? You gotta, you can't double dip, you can choose either my freebies or freebies, uh, $15 from Stampin' Up. This is worth more than $15, just saying. <laughs> my gift is really good. Thank you, Denise, she says yes, 10 cards. Denise packed those up for me a while ago. Thank you, Denise. Okay, let's move on to today. So today, first day of 12 days of Christmas. Oh, wait, I have one more thing. Guys, I have like three of these left. If you want a gingerbread man or a gingerbread, what's it called? Jolly gingerbread um, paper pumpkin. I've got, I think, three of them left. Please email me, erica at pinkbuckaroo.com. And they are $25. That includes shipping. 
Okay, and if you have already bought one, I'm shipping them all out today, all right? Thank you for that. All right, so today we're gonna do um, a continuation of last week's Facebook Friday. Remember last week we made three projects using the Sweetest Time stamp set, and I didn't even pull that out. What is wrong with me, you guys? Let me grab it, hold on. Hold please, it's right here. Um, we use this bundle right here, okay? The Sweetest Time bundle to make these three things. Today we're gonna make one more thing. It's a box, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own box, depending on what treat you buy. You might buy a treat from somewhere um, and then need a box for it. So I'm gonna show you how to make that box. Um, you can go back over to my blog and find Friday's projects. There's a PDF, there's a video for all of them, and there's an individual video for each of them. Um, if you put your order in today by midnight, I'm gonna send you these three make and takes for free. Um, but remember, that has to be by Monday at midnight using that host code. New host code starts tomorrow. It's a lot of host codes. It's a lot of free stuff. Hopefully, you guys can keep it straight. I know I'm having a little trouble myself. <laughs> okay, but you can find this over there. All right, and then they kind of, they look like this when they come. This is last week's Merry Moose. It has everything that you need. You'll need these, the stamps and the dies, to make these projects. I don't send stamp images. All right. Let's get started. So we've got a lot of you here. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you joined me. This is day one of my 12 days of Christmas live. All right, so my customer, Jill, from long distance, sent me in the mail these beautiful handmade soaps. And she said she wanted to make a box. Well, I don't wanna pull it out. She wanted to make a box for them, but she didn't know how. Um, she gets them locally in her area. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? They're goat milk soaps, utterly precious soaps. I asked her if she made them. I didn't even notice that on there, Jill. Anyway, sweet patchouli, mm, smells so good. And in here, is the other one that she sent me. And I'm gonna show you guys how I decide on the measurements for a box, okay? See in there, oatmeal and honey. Mm, those make really nice gifts. So if you buy something, a, a treat, or maybe you make something and you wanna make a box for it, I'm gonna show you how to make a box. Now, I was thinking maybe next week, we'll do this again and I'll show you how to make a different kind of box. This is a box that opens like this. Um, my friend Belinda one time made a box based on um, a cream cheese box. You know when you buy your cream cheese and you open the box, um, if you don't just tear it open like I do, it opens just like this. So I always th think about that when, uh, when she showed me her box, I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna call that, the cream cheese box. So it just opens up on the lid. So I was thinking maybe next week I'll show you how to make a, a, lid, a box where you open up at the top. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't made next week's projects, we'll see. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do, I find our grid paper really, really important. And you're going to need um, ru a ruler, grid paper, and a pencil. You guys, Amazon is pulling up now. Please, <laughs> please don't come to my house. <laughs> please don't make my dogs bark. Um, if you have never bought our grid paper, it's really, really great. Um I think it's a hundred sheets in here and it will last you forever. On one side is inches, on the other side is metric. So depending on where you live, you can use it, you know, however you want. So I kind of just start in the middle, I, I center it, and then I draw around. Now this soap, you can see it's not perfectly um, square. So I'm gonna make it just a tiny tad bit bigger than the bottom. And I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna draw around the soap using those lines as my guide. Let's see if I have to stick my head in here. Please, Amazon, don't come here. Has Amazon been coming really, really um, early for you guys? I had a delivery like before 7 a.m. last week, it's crazy. All right, now this paper has the ruler on it already, but I just, I use my ruler and I'm gonna measure, this is three and three fourths long by two inches, okay? Now, I'm gonna need a bottom. Let me get my box. I'm gonna need a bottom that, si that size and a top that's that side. But now we need to build the sides, okay? And the sides are however tall 
your little treat is. And Jill's, this soap is about one and, let me see, one and a fourth. Okay, so I one little thing I want to show you guys is I got this from my downline Gloria. I keep a notebook of all my measurements so that I, for one, every time I wrote on a post-it note, I lose it. Now that I have this little notebook, I write them all down and they're there for me to always go back to. So that's one thing that I do. So anyway, I have this, I can look back at it and see. Um, I think, let's see, what did I do? I wanna just make sure that how I did this one. This one I did one and a half. This one, I'm worried if I do one and a fourth, it might be just a little bit too shallow. So let's do, let's do one and a half on either side, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mark one and a half and I'm gonna go out on all four sides from one and a half, okay? Hey, Addie, are you in there? No, she's like, I'm out of here. My mom's making me look bad on her Facebook Live. <laughs> Um, you can even count those squares too. Um, I think, let's see, um, one, two squares is half a, half an inch. So you can even count the squares. All right. So one and a half on all four sides. Okay. All right. Now we've got the bottom, right? Oh good. He's leaving. We've got the side and the side. Now we need another this size, which is exactly the same size as the bottom, which was two inches by three and three fourths. So we're just gonna draw another thing up here like this to be two inches, okay? So we know that this was one and a half, one and a half, two and two. The last thing that you need is this little lip to tuck down in here. And I always do that about half an inch, okay? Oh, Kathy, now your dog is barking. <laughs> I know those crazy dogs. My three schnauzers. I mean, my gosh, what was I thinking? All right, so half an inch lip, okay? So half an inch. So my box is going to be this wide. So here's my paper. I'm gonna just draw some imaginary lines here. All right, that's my paper. Can you guys see that? And I, you can see that these are the things that we're gonna cut off here, all right? like that. So now I'm gonna measure it and see. We, we made this an inch and a half on all four sides because we know that we need, right, all of these four to be an inch and a half. So three, four, and five, plus half and a half is six, six and three fourths. So six and three fourths is our paper width. And then long, we would do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, then those two halves are seven, and then seven and a half. So six and three fourths by seven and a half. Let's see, did I put that on my notes? I put seven by seven and a half. Well, we'll we're gonna see, let's see. Let me make sure I measured that right. One and a half, six and three fourths, one and a half. Hmm. Did I make it longer? Oh, I did make it longer. Well, maybe that soap's longer than this soap. Maybe that's why, because they're not exactly the same. Well, they are exactly the same. Let me see, would that one fit? I think it would fit. Did I just make it a little bit longer? Let's see. I did. We're gonna make it shorter this time. See that? I left that much in there. Hmm. Maybe we should add. Should we add it? Should we make it four? Let's just make it four to be to be safe. We'll make that four. So then that means four, five, six, and seven. So let's make that seven. You can adjust these, you know, any way you want. Um, when you adjust this, it's going to be that width all the way across. All right. Okay. So now we need a piece of cardstock that is seven by seven and a half. And then we'll look at this. We're going to score it at half the long side at half an inch and then two and a half and then four and then six. Okay. And then the short side, we're gonna score it at one and a half from both sides. So one and a half, and then um, if it's um, seven inches across, one and a half inch from that side would be five and a half, right? Right. Now, that's a lot of math, right? That's a lot of like, whoa. However, 
just know it's okay if you screw it up because I screw it up all the time. Sometimes I have to make it three or four times before I get it perfect. Um, don't beat yourself up if you try to make it and you screw it up the first time. I rarely get something right the first time. Sometimes it takes me a few tries and I will just get scrap cardstock when I'm, um, when I'm trying to figure out a box. Um, and I will just play with it that way. And then once I get the size right, I'll get out the, the correct sides um, of the um, the correct piece of cardstock that I want. I, let me let's see. Um, Ellen says, don't cut the sides from the lid. You need a quarter inch for the little flaps. Yes, you're right. You'll see. I'm not going to cut those off. All right, so seven. And... Seven and a half. You know what? Let me think. Now that I'm live, this is always, oh, am I going to get it right? Let's see. Yep. I've got I've to gotta, gotta look at it. Now Ellen's making me question myself. Okay, hold on. I don't want to drop that. Now you can use your trimmer to score, but I'm going to use my Simply Scored. I prefer my Simply Scored. All right, so on the long side, what did we say? Half an inch and two and a half and four. And that doesn't look right. Is that right? Let's see. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then one and a half and one and a half, which is five and a half. Okay. So now... Let's look at our drawing and see if that's what it kind of looks like. Do we have all of the pieces? Look, it's the right size, right? Okay, so now the flaps right here, you're right, that's what Ellen was saying. We need to keep these flaps right here. So we have, we've scored it across here and we've scored it across here. So we're going to cut this off and this off and this off and this off. Okay, so I know that you can't make heads or tails right now of what that looks like, but I'm going to show you in a second after I cut it. All right, so now get your bone folder. Okay. So are you guys prepping for Thanksgiving? Are you doing a dinner? Are you doing something this year? <sighs> I know. It's, it's a weird, weird year for sure. We are, we are, we see my parents pretty much every day. So they're in our bubble. So we are definitely going to be spending time with my parents. All right. Now we're going to trim all those lines. We're going to cut these off. We don't need those. Okay. And I may have, I may have marked out the ones that we do need. Yeah, we don't need to cut those off. Ellen, you're right. We're gonna fold them in, so we're not cutting them off, okay? The only thing we're cutting off are those two right there. Now these are gonna fold, these are gonna be this guy right here. All right, see that? We wanna, we wanna cut those so that they match here. Two turkeys, Joy. My goodness, I'm impressed. We ordered our turkey, we're not making it. <laughs> That's too much. I can make all the sides, but I don't want to make that turkey. All right, so now cut these corners. We saw some turkeys yesterday at Target that were the biggest turkeys I've ever seen. And our little Target doesn't have very much um, food. It's not a big grocery store. I was pretty surprised. Okay, so now Ellen was right. I don't need to cut all those off. See, let's look right there it fits okay so we've got our sides our little side flaps and our flaps that we fold in all right now we're gonna get our stamp and seal plus whoa and I'm gonna put adhesive on these four squares fold those in And now we'll test out our soap. This is the one that I measured. Let's see. Ta-da! 
perfect. Look at that, see? Now, if it didn't work, you'd have to go back to the drawing board and put your soap on there, put your box on there and figure out where, where you need to adjust those, those measurements. But for the most part, that's a pretty easy box to put together, right? The cream cheese box. All right, let's decorate it. This one I did in uh, Poppy Parade, but today I'm doing real red. Can you guys see the difference? All right, now I can move that. Whoops, there go my scissors. And let me grab all my other pieces. I was thinking today we're gonna try putting an adhesive sheet on the back of our candy cane border. We didn't do that last week with the, um, with the holly because there's so many, but I thought let's try it with this and let's see what it looks like. So we're gonna use this border. We're gonna cut a piece that looks like, nope, we're gonna do it like this, okay? Now remember, this edge cuts off. This edge is not gonna cut off your paper. So we need to measure, let's see what size our paper needs to be. Remember our box is four by two, all right? So we're gonna cut a piece that is four by two grab it. You're welcome, Vicki. I hope it makes sense. Maybe we'll do another one next week too. All right, so we'll cut this down to four by, oh no, two by four. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to use this little piece for our, um, for our little candy. All right, so I'm gonna take a piece of adhesive here, adhesive, these are our adhesive sheets. And I'm gonna lay that down on there, okay? And we're gonna cut this out of here. And I wanna cut off any extra adhesive that's hanging out because I don't get kind of gunky on my cut and emboss. All right, so we're gonna cut that with this die. Now, where did my, where is the ribbon that I used? Right here. See, I also had this little one, isn't that cute? So let's take um, a little piece of real red and we're gonna put adhesive on the back. Let me just set that down there. On the back of that one also. Okay like that and now we're ready to cut i've got a lot of like random little pieces here let's get all of this out of here okay let's see how this works with the adhesive sheet um remember this side is going to cut off the top part's gonna cut off, this side's not gonna cut off. So we wanna put it facing up. And I wanna kind of arrange it so that we get the most out of our, out of our little, let's see how I did that before. Okay, like that, I'm gonna put it on the end. And let's get this one. And this one, we can do it all at the same time. We've got the little circle for the white piece. Yeah, Kathy, those adhesive sheets are amazing. I love them. All right, let's roll this through. Oops, one of them slipped. I better get that out before it cuts. All right, we've got the little tiny circle. And let's take a look. Did that cut all the way through? Yes, it did. And what about this one? We probably need to go through once more. No, look at that. We don't. It cut beautifully. All right, so we'll take that out and grab the die brush. You guys, look what I bought this weekend at Target. A little organizer instead of that basket that was overflowing of all my adhesives. Look, I love it. It was a mess and I could never find my bone folder. It was always at the bottom. So I saw that at Target and I was like, ooh, that'll be perfect. Hi, Lisa. It'll be recorded. I'll put it over on my blog, too, and on YouTube. All right, so there we've got that. Now, let's see if we can get this off. So when you use the adhesive sheet, it just turns this into 
a big sticker. If I can get it without tearing off. Let's see, come on, let's try this corner. Why does it always wanna be stubborn when I'm making a video? I can't get the corner started. Oh, behave. My daughter is watching. Um, do your kids watch, uh, what do they call it? Dude Perfect. Ugh, I can't stand that show or that YouTube channel. You guys, why can't I get this off? Come on. There we go. There we go. Got it. She watches Dude Perfect. It's a bunch of grown men acting like children. I can't stand it. It's so annoying. And then I can hear it in there. She likes to watch it on the big TV. All right, so there. Let's put that down like a sticker. Look, it worked beautifully, beautifully. All right, now let's do the sentiment. If I can find the darn stamp, I had it right here, right here. You guys, we don't have these anymore. Why, why did Stampin' Up! retire the embossing buddy? I don't know, but if you don't have one, someone said you can fill pantyhose with baby powder. And it works the same way. It will remove the static from your cardstock before you emboss. Okay? So it really does help remove and gets all the little powders. Did I throw away my little... I guess I did. Darn. I'm going to have to get a spoon. Hold on. I cleaned out my embossing powder and replaced it last week. And I guess I threw away the little pot that I had in there. Darn, darn, darn. I got new embossing powder because mine was all gunky with um, like, you know, fiber and weird stuff in there. So I needed to replace it. All right. So white craft ink on black cardstock. I'm embossing it with white embossing powder with a heat tool. And we're going to give it a second for it to activate, and then it's going to turn shiny. My other two, I don't think they're awake yet. Even with all the barking this morning, I don't know how they can sleep through it. All right, there we go. I don't like to sleep late. I don't know about you guys but I feel like I'm wasting the day when I sleep late. Even as a teenager, I was like that. I don't like to sleep late. I like to get up early. All right, I'm gonna trim this down just to the size of the words. Okay. And then we're just gonna put this on here with some dimensionals. Yeah, um, you guys, those adhesive sheets, I'm telling you, um, they are worth their weight in gold. I love them. Um, now, you can do what we did on Friday and um, use a, a, what am I trying to say, a sponge and Tombow, and that works fine, but the adhesive sheet is just so nice so nice and neat and clean and you don't get adhesive all over you all right i'm going to finish this up with this bow and we're going to make that little peppermint if i haven't already lost those pieces <laughs> the wheels are coming off you know i need to do that a little bit tighter this is our silver edged ribbon silver metallic edged ribbon in silver it comes in gold and silver um, the gold is very vanilla and the silver is whisper white. Isn't that beautiful? That is perfect for Christmas time. Okay, last but not least, let's get this guy. And then we'll be done. Tomorrow, I hope you join me same time um, for two little gnome projects. Or maybe, I, I don't know how many I have. I think I've got two. I think I have four all together. So two tomorrow, two on Wednesday. And see, look, a sticker. And we're going to stick it right onto that circle like that and then we'll grab a glue dot aren't those little peppermints cute 
Let's grab a couple of glue dots. And boom, it keeps going in. That soap is <laughs> smaller on that side. And there we have it, done. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's how I figure out a box. I hope, I hope that makes sense to you. I know it's a little kind of mm, sometimes confusing and feels like a lot of math, but if you will get that grid paper and put your, your treat down on the grid paper and go around it, measure it, and then measure how tall, and that's how far out you go, and then you just repeat the, the bottom size and a lip, and that's it. That's all you have to do. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Remember, today um, by midnight, if you want Friday's projects using this host code, um, and then starting at 12.01 a.m. is the one-day Stampin' Up! sale, where almost everything in the annual catalog will be 10% off, and I will be back live tomorrow at 10 a.m. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.